What's up guys, Jack here from Zucon Gaming and I'm going to be doing a guide uh, for the 7.0.3 uh, pre-patch for the Rep Paladin in PvP. Now let's start off with the talent selection. Um, so at level 15, you have Final Verdict, Execution Sentence and Consecration. Now Final Verdict and Execution Sentence ones are the one you'll be using, Consecration is more of a PvE AoE. So, um, Final Verdict is the best one in my opinion because it, it's a constant 20% extra damage on your Templar's Verdict and your Divine Storms. And the problem with uh, Execution Sentence is that it's on a, you have to time it with a cooldown and it costs 3 Holy Powers so it is pretty awkward. The only situation that I would get Execution Sentence would be when you're trying to duel someone on like a Mage or a Hunter where you can't use anything because you're getting kited quite a lot but most of the time I would pick up Final Verdict so it is the best in my opinion. At level 30 you have the Fires of Justice, Zeal and Greater Judgment. All three of these are quite viable. Zeal deal makes your Crusader Strike deal quite a lot of damage and it um, does quite a lot of damage to enemies in front of you when you stack it up. Uh, Greater Judgment's good in BGs since your judgments are AoE and it's pretty good cleave uh, pressure in the BGs, so I would pick up Greater Judgment in uh, BGs actually. But most of the time, I prefer fi the Fires of Justice. Uh, you generate Holy Power much quicker with the Fires of Justice, so you can get more Templar's Verdicts off quicker inside of your Judgment duration. So I think the Fires of Justice is the best level 30 talent most of the time. Uh, level 45, um, you have Fist of Justice, Repentance, and Blinding Light. Blinding Light can be used in some situations with some arena comps, but most of the time you're going to go with Fist of Justice. Repentance is quite rubbish, it's a cast and it's just awkward. Uh, but the Fist of Justice, uh, our stun is a minute now, so we need to reduce our cooldown of our stun. And every time you spend Holy Power, the cooldown is reduced on our stun, so it's a really good talent. Um, a, a more constant stun, so it, yeah, you really need to pick uh, the Fist of Justice for level 45. Uh, level 60, you have the Virtue's Blade. Blade of Wrath and Divine Hammer. All three of these talents are good. Uh, again, Divine Hammer, you can use the Great Judgment in BGs. Good AoE pressure in BGs. Uh, it does quite a lot of damage AoE. A good amount of AoE pressure with the Great Judgment and Divine Hammer with, uh, with each other. But uh, usually, you're going to go with Virtue's Blade. Blade of Wrath is okay. It is quite a bit of damage, but I've noticed that you can get some really big crits off with Virtue's Blade. As you can see there, it does three times the normal damage of Virtue's Blade. Uh, when it crits, so instead of doing 1.5 times extra damage, it does 3 times extra damage. So you can get some massive crits off of Virtue's Blade, so I think that's uh, the best level 60 talent. At level 75, you have Justica's Vengeance, Eye for an Eye, and Word of Glory. Again, all three of these are quite viable. Word of Glory is okay. It's a bit more awkward now, uh, since in WAD we used to be able to generate Holy Power from a long range away and kite them around, but we have less movement speed now and uh, we can't really generate holy power from far away so word of glory is not as uh, good as it used to be you can't kite and heal with it anymore you have to use it when you're in melee range and you'll be using the word of glory instead of your templar's verdicts it's okay you can use it but i think that jessica's vengeance is better uh, basically it is a lot of damage when you stun them and it also uh, heals you for the equal amount of damage done so if you activate your wings and things like that you stun them and you have 5 holy power you can hit them with a huge Jessica's Vengeance see it does 50,000 damage normal and it does double that so you can do 100k normal plus the damage from wings and plus the extra damage from Temple, uh, Judgment so you can deal like 120 to 130k normal and you can even crit with it so you can do some massive numbers with Jessica's Vengeance if you use it in the stun and it's also a really good heal as well so and Eye for an Eye, I, it's a pretty good, I've been using it quite a lot. It's quite good at, uh, in duels against other physical classes. I wouldn't, you know, you, you don't want to get it against other magicals, but it's really good against other physicals, it works really well in duels against rogues and feral druids and things like that. But I think most of the time, you're going to pick up Jessica's Vengeance for the massive damage and the good heal. At level 90, we have uh, Divine Intervention, Divine Steed and Seal of Light. Seal of Light is really awkward with the holy power. It's, an, it's a nice amount of movement speed, but it's so awkward with the Holy Power, so I don't really recommend it. Uh, Divine Steed is the one that you really want to get, since uh, Rep Paladins have a lot less mobility in Legion now than they used to have in Ward and Mists of Pandaria, so this is our only Glap Closer and our only movement speed buff, really. 
So you, we really need that extra gap closer because we are struggling against the range classes and duels now. So we do need that Divine Steed to help us. And Divine Interventions, okay, I've seen some Paladins use it, but we do need that movement speed from Divine Steed. So level 90, I recommend going for Divine Steed. At level 100, we have Divine Purpose, Crusade, and Holy Wrath. Uh, Crusade's quite awkward because um, you have to stack it up and it takes a while and you can get interrupted in a CC and things like that. So I, I just think the 30% uh, damage from Avenging Wrath is better on its own really. So I don't really recommend Crusade. Divine Purpose is actually really good. Sometimes I'll uh, use Divine Purpose. Holy Wrath and Divine Purpose, I switch these out all the time. I think they're both really viable. Divine Purpose is really, really good now. Basically, it's 20% extra chance to uh, generate Templar's Verdicts uh, again, so you can get those constant damage coming through, and it is pretty good. So I'd either get this or this. Holy Wrath, I've been using that recently, and I've been enjoying it so much. You can deal huge numbers with it. So say, it's really good in duels as well, actually. Um, in arenas, you you don't get okay, it. only works when you're on low HP, really. Like, say if you're on 10k HP, and you activate your bubble, or something like that, and the other enemies on like half health, you can pretty much kill them. It can deal like 160k damage when you're on really low HP. So it can literally, it can cleave as well. So you can get like, you can kill two people that are on half health when you bubble or without bubble when you're on really low HP. So it's really strong. But in arenas, you don't really want to be on low HP all the time, if you know what I mean. So it is really good in duels. When you'd say you're having duel the rogue, you're having duel the warrior, or something like that. And you're both on really low HP, and it's like, oh, it's such a close duel. But you'll always win those situations, since you're gonna, like, basically deal 150k damage when, they're, when you're on low HP. So it's a really good duel, um, like, ending ability in a way. And it can also be used in arenas, especially in two. I think it's better in uh, 2v2s than it is in 3v3s. So, say, again, if you're on low HP and you're dueling someone in an arena, it's really good like that, and you can almost kill two people with it if you AOE them, so Holy Wrath is also really good. So yeah, that's the talents, guys. So next, I'll be going over the macros. Macros, um, there's a lot less of them now. Uh, so you have your, um, your target macros, you have the, you know, you have your party member ones, and you have your focus ones. Um, so you have your burst macro, which used to have a lot of stuff in it, like you did here. But now it's just basically use your trinket and cast Avenging Wrath. There's nothing else with it really. You can put a potion in there if you want. Um, you've got a stun focus. I'll I'll put some of these um, like some of the uh, like basic like commands in the uh, in the description for you. Uh, so you have you know the different abilities of your stun. Uh, you have to, you, you know, you have your target, you, you have your focus target for that, and you have your focus target for your kick as well, your rebuke. Um, you got, you can change these, you, you know, you can make loads of them. Uh, so, you know, your party members, you're in threes, you got party one, party two, party three. Uh, you in twos, you know, you party one. Um, and you also have your blessing of freedom. Oh, I, I forgot to do one actually, and then you also have one for your blessing of protection. So you, you just need, you know, keep this bit. And just change like the name of it. Uh, that's all you need to do, really. And there's one you can do for blessing of protection as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it with the macros. So let's go over the rotation. Um, there's a basic rotation, and then there's a two different types of burst rotation, which one includes just because vengeance. So I'll go over it now with you. Uh, so basically, the basic rotation is that you can start off with a stun if you want. Uh, so basically, it's you open with blade of justice into two crusader strikes. Then use Judgment, Templar's Verdict, two more Crusader Strikes, and then Templar's Verdict again. And now you, then you just basically repeat that again. You repeat the same thing over and over again. You might get a little bit of downtime once you repeat it quite a bit. Uh, but I see a lot of Paladins making a mistake. And that mistake is that they open with Judgment. And that's uh, wrong, because if you read Judgment, it only increases the damage of your holy power spenders. So if you use judgment straight away and then you generate holy power, you see here you're wasting time of the judgment duration. You only get like one uh, two judgments off inside that. But if you use judgment after you've used blade of justice and crusader strike, you might get up to 3 uh Templar's verdicts inside your uh, duration of judgment. Usually if you don't if you don't do that, you might only get one or two. So 
Judgment doesn't increase the damage of Blade of Justice and Crusader Strike, so you don't want to open with Judgment straight away. You don't want to use Judgment first, that is incorrect. Uh, you, you're wasting quite a lot of the damage, so you want to use Judgment after you've generated um, Holy Power. So when you have a Templar's Verdict ready, then it, that's when you want to use Judgment. Uh, okay, and now the Burst. So it's pretty much, I'll go over, the, the burst rotation is pretty much the same as the basic rotation, but there's another burst rotation which uh, you use uh, just to cast Vengeance. Uh, so when you're in combat, you might already have some Holy Power, and you need to get 5 Holy Power to use just to cast Vengeance. And with just to cast Vengeance, you do want to make sure that they're stunned. Uh, but you don't wanna, if you're on 0 Holy Power, you don't want to stun them, you, you got to try and time it, so you, you're definitely going to get the just to cast Vengeance within the stun. So what you can do is you can activate Wings, you can do Blade of Justice, 2 Crusader Strikes, and then you can stun them into a Judgment, then into a um, another Crusader Strike, and then a Dressica Vendance, so you get a big damage off. And then you just carry on with the rotation, as you normally would. So, you want to try and uh, generate about 3 Holy Power, 3 or 4 Holy Power, before you actually stun them. And then you use Judgment, get the 5th Holy Power with another Crusader Strike, and get the big crit off with uh, Dressica's Vengeance. And then the other the other burst rotation, you just activate wings and it's exactly the same as the other rotation that went over before. So you do that, two crusader strikes. Not if you're on you know, well if you've already got holy power up, then you don't wanna do the two crusader strikes like you, you know what I mean? So you, if you're already on five holy power and you got another crusader strike to use, you just wanna spend the holy power. You don't wanna try and go over. So the other the bur other burst rotation is just exactly the same as the basic rotation really. Um now you have some defensive mechanisms and rotations as well. So, Shield of Vengeance, uh, you activate that. Oh, sorry, wrong button. <laughs> uh, you basically use that in the same mindset that you'd use Touch of Karma. Basically, uh, you take damage, and then it builds up and builds up. And if, if they damage you, it uh, basically you reflect the damage after it explodes. See the timer here, and that explodes after it, and you can deal a, a heck of a amount of damage. If they damage you and burst you in that. And then it's, you've got a, a quite a good charge off of it. You can either use your divine steed and your uh, slow, so you can do that. And you, say you, you can time it with the explode, and you can get a big amount of damage off. Or what you can do is you can time it with your stun. So as you can see, like with the timer, it's about to end. You might not have your stun sometimes, but if you do, you're not trying to time it with your stun. So it's about to end. You can stun them, and you that damage them in the stun. And then you're also going to get the explode off the um, Shield of Vengeance as well, so that's a pretty good uh, thing you can keep it to account. And um, you have your bubble, your two bubbles. You have Blessing of Protection, uh, that protects you against uh, physical damage. And if some of you haven't realised yet, you can actually use damage inside this now. You didn't used to uh, be able to do that. So you can actually uh, damage people in your physical barrier now. But usually you would healing it. Uh, so yeah. You can actually do that now, and same with bubble. Um, you know, you use that when you're in a low HP, and you know you're healing it. Uh, our heals are basically just consist of flash of light now. We don't have the uh, word of glory. Well, we we have it in the talents. If you select word of glory, basically you're just you'd be in combat like this, and instead of using your Templar's verdicts, you'd be using uh, the word of glory to try and keep you healed up as well. It, it does quite a lot of healing, and it uh, heals your allies as well, so it's pretty good. But. Uh, yeah, you, you just use it like that. You can't kite them around like like we used to in uh, MOP. So in MOP and uh, WAD, you should just kite them around with Judgment and Exorcism and you used to, you know, you, have, you used to have a lot of movement speed. You used to have a lot of slows as well. You had a constant 50% slow and a constant 45% movement speed and you used to kite them around and heal up, but we don't have that anymore. Uh, so it is kind of a pain. And you have your Holy Wrath. So with Holy Wrath, uh, but, you know, when you're low HP, you can activate your bubble. If you're not comfortable using it, so you can activate your bubble on low HP and then get the guaranteed Holy Wrath off. You can use it without bubble, but it is risky. If you want to be risky and try not use your bubble on you know low HP, you can trust your healer or something like that. You know you can use that and it can pretty much like half health someone. It can deal like up to like 180k damage, so that's a really good mechanism you can use there. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it about the rotation. So um, if you enjoyed the video and you learned something. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to comment a class that you'd like to see a guide on, I might be able to uh, do it. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you next time.